One day, there was an oil barge traveling across the ocean when all of a sudden there was a problem with the boat and the oil spilled all over the ocean. So if you look over here, these big spots over here is, what do you call that when it goes into the ocean or in water? It's called an oil spill. So oil spills are really bad for the water and for the animals that live in the ocean, for the fish, and also for all those aquatic plants in the water. So what we're going to do today, as you can see, I have lots of oil that are floating at the top of the water. And the activity for today is that you are going to try and help me to clean up this oil spill. So all you need to do is find little things that you can find around the house and think of an idea of how we can clean this oil spill. So I have this sheet for you and there are a few materials that you can find at home that you are going to first find. So the first one I have is a cotton ball, a cotton ball. So you need to make a guess before you start to try and clean up the oil with the cotton ball, you are going to make a guess and decide, do you think the cotton ball is going to be able to help get rid of the oil from the oil spill? If you think, yes, you can, uh, the cotton balls will work, you're going to color in the smiley face. If you think the cotton ball won't work, then you're going to color in the sad face. And what you're going to do next is that you are going to test it out. You're actually going to take your cotton ball and you are going to try by dipping it into the oil and seeing if you can get rid of the oil with the cotton ball. After you've tested, you are going to um, either color in the happy face. If it's yes, you managed to get the oil out with the cotton ball or no, you did not manage to get the cotton ball, the, the oil out with the cotton ball and you're going to color the no. So you're going to do that with the other things as well. This thing is a sponge. So I'm sure everyone has a sponge uh, at home that they can try to scoop out the oil. There's a sponge cloth. So that's how a sponge cloth looks like or any kind of cloth that you have. So you try to scoop it out, see if it works. A dropper or a pipette. So I have a pipette right here with me and I'm gonna try to suck out the oil and see if it works. I have a mesh strainer. So I have kind of like a mesh strainer right here, as you can see. And the last thing you need is a nylon sock. So I'm sure mummy must have at least one nylon sock, I, I, I guess. So this is my nylon sock and I'm gonna see if it's going to be able to get rid of the oil. And we also have a cup. So I just have a normal cup here, you can use any cup and see if you can skim the oil or take the oil out from the water. And the last two, if you have some other ideas, you can also draw the picture here. What other ideas can you think of that will help to get rid of these big circles of oil in the water? So always, before you do the activity, you make a guess. If you think yes, it will work, you color the happy face. If you think no, it won't work, you color the sad face. And after you've made a guess, then you are going to test it out and actually use the different materials and see if you can get the oil out. All right. So that is how you're going to do the activity. And I can't wait for you to show me which of those materials you used to, that actually worked in getting rid of the oil. So I don't know if you can see the oil really well, but just so you can see, you see there's a big, a big, big circle of oil. And there's another one here. They're like little, little circles of oil because, because water and oil, they don't mix. So the oil will always float to the top. So help me to try and get rid of the oil.